good evening to all uh, i am ganeshan narayanaswamy i work for ibm systems and also take care of uh, academia initiative for power and certainly the open power ecosystem and i have been with ibm for last 25 years and started my career with the power 3 now uh, we are at power 9 and uh, shortly we will be releasing power 10 so plenty of you know the power 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 experience i have and uh, let me start here um i i just want to say a few words about uh, you know the open power uh, foundation and uh, uh, like you know how this has been evolving see we launched this foundation in 2013 in collaboration with google melanox right now is nvidia nvidia and tian and um, and now we got like nearly like 350 plus members actively participating on uh, all the layers you know from silicon to the solution so many many people you know collaborating with our platform and as you see uh, the 350 members are spread out from enterprise industries universities and government organization and uh, there are nearly like 30 plus 30 plus countries you know people involved uh, in this uh, you know activity you know for the last uh, several years and as part of this foundation uh, like you know we we have open sourced many things but what happened recently was uh, we fully open sourced you know the isa the instruction set architecture uh, that that has been Uh, a proprietary for IBM for many years, and uh, recently, you know, we uh, open sourced it. Along with that, uh, you know, the open designs, like we also open sourced, you know, the A to O, A to I, and MicroWatt soft core implementation of the Power ISA, and uh, we are also part of the Linux Foundation as a open governance, and uh, you know, we have a very powerful ecosystem uh, with the open sourced isa we are the only one you know with have uh, which have like you know already a working um, operating systems the three operating systems we have on our platform and also uh, many isps and um, many software products running on our systems too and you know there are lots of you know uh, customers like nearly like you know for the ibm version of power we have like nearly 25000 plus customers actively using power for research and development as well as you know the 24 by 7 operational activities and you know there are a lot of uh, established performance benchmarks using power uh, for i performance computing and also uh, you know the several other applications these are all the things you know as part of you know open power 2 and uh, you know now you know the reason why open power and uh, let let me move on to the next slide so where are we going you know the current use cases for open power I, as i said before i performance computing we are you know the top uh, 500 supercomputers that are like summit sierra and also the mit supercomputer and the sinica supercomputer like many supercomputers are there uh, as part of you know the top 500 is all like you know built using ai as well as high performance computing kind of you know the stack and also our power systems open power systems have been heavily used in edge and cloud for uh, by many enterprises and and you know the, that's also like you know the open power based systems only you know have been made available for you know the edge computing too and as you as you know like you know the ai we have been leading in the industry you know with the watson you know in 2011 since then you know we have been adding a lot of features on top of that and our systems also well equipped for many activities you know for ai stuff and uh, for the future use cases for open power you know the main focus is on the 5g network especially for edge and automobile storage um and you know and iot 
and uh, these uh, the, the, these four uh, pillars uh, we have been you know working with uh, you know s industries as well as enterprises to nurture about you know uh, i mean to incorporate the features what we have introduced as part of the you know the uh, power isa as well as the power uh, you know the chips and also you know the open source uh, you know uh, uh, you know the act uh, like the, the open source uh, materials you know whatever we have done you know in the past uh, several months and there are a lot of things that, you know there are a lot of activities you know happening around this and let me move on to the next slide so uh, i talked about you know uh, you know the open power foundation uh, uh, why and you know what are all the things you know we are planning and uh, uh, you know how uh, you know the open power academia discussion group is helping open power foundation uh, to a new extent you know now i am going to discuss about it so mainly you know the the academia discussion group you know i am sharing i have been sharing for several years and you know it provides training and exchange of experience uh, you know to many academicians worldwide i you know i as far as i know like you know there are like hundreds of uh, academicians you know collaborating on this platform and provide platform for networking among academic members work on many engagements either, you know in hpc or ai or cloud and uh, enable process design activities many you know many uh, workshops many meetups many webinars i know that this is also part of uh, you know the meetup but there are lots of webinars uh, you know workshops we have done in the past uh, five years plus and i would say like you know more than 100 you know plus you know the meetups workshops webinar we have done and extended the ecosystem you know to a newer level and you know many many students and faculties and uh, researchers collaborating and you know participating on our workshops too so you see that you know the membership for the academia and currently about 100 plus worldwide academicians you know universities as part of this and as i said before there are industries you know we are focusing on and uh, uh, ai especially ai and hpc all these industries you know where we do have kind of a proof of concept done solutions done and kind of performance metrics also done for this and there are a lot of use cases we have uh, if you need any uh, any kind of information on any particular thing on you know the on, the on the industry do let me know i can point you out on that and then um, moving on to the next slide so as i said before uh, this is a snapshot of you know what we have done for the several years i you know you can ask me you know how, how come we are, we are able to uh, you know get together without a mask but this is a little old one uh, before 2020 but uh, you know the last uh, 18 months we have been doing a lot of webinars workshops you know online everything was virtual but actively like you know there are there, there are cases where you know in person workshop also we did this year uh, on and off you know because uh, because of you know several covid challenges we have to uh, switch to you know hybrid kind of mode uh, uh, you know and uh, we have been literally engaging many many students faculties and researchers and even developers, uh, you know, on our platform, uh, I can I can give you more details, you know, if you need more details on this. And then, um, as part of this Academia discussion group and uh, Open Power Academia, the recent events which we did in 2021, like I would say last 30 days, the important one, the one which we collaborated with uh, ICS, the Barcelona Supercomputing Center, where uh, we had a one day workshop containing both risk 5 and open power topics and that was excellent one and uh, you can uh, go through the youtube ch channel you know for details on that and uh, you know it was uh, well presented by you know many industry leaders and academicians you know from the open power world and also we recently had another workshop working with Sinica, who, who has been running the 
the largest hpc supercomputer in europe and you know there are great scientists participated in the workshop along with that many uh, you know the industry as well as academicians and faculties participated in the workshop too and i have given the a uh, linkedin address for that like you know whatever the blog went in that blog contains all the details of the workshop and then the presentations and youtube channel too uh, where whatever whatever uh, people presented got recorded and you know it's there in the youtube channel uh, please do take a look at it and move on to the next slide so the upcoming events what is in it so we have a open power workshop at iit rurki on 16th as we speak tomorrow it's going to be a kind of a, a tech fest you know event where we are talking about concept to silicon kind of you know uh, the workshop like you know there are like a, eight speakers going to talk about it eight speakers you know what you know on um, how to uh, you know how to fabricate the you know the op open ice open power ice based chip and um, and also the power isa what it is and how one can build a cpu and um, and hpc related talk application thing and ai capabilities there are there are few purposes experimented using our uh, the supercomputers called ac922 uh, for their solution and also the open capi accelerator with the features whatever going to come in power 10 so it's going to be a kind of a tech fest you know tomorrow uh, working in collaboration with iit rurki uh, please do participate and i have given the registration detail here and uh, it's going to be 5 pm indian time and that means um, you know e, uh, the uk time is actually uh, like you know around 1:30 pm so it's you know easy to attend you know or uh, you you will see the recorded version also very shortly after that and then immediately after that you know we have another workshop going up and uh, you know virtual it's all virtual ik fi ik fi is one of the um, you know management as well as the, the, the technology institute in india they got like 13 institutes all around you know all around india and they are uh, you know we are going to discuss with them about uh, in general how ai can help and open power systems can help to build the ai solutions and you know don't miss this two events and of course i have another announcement also here open power summit the virtual event 2021 has been announced and it is going to be on november 4 2021 uh, you know you can participate as well as you can submit your ideas uh, which you could uh, run it on you know the power system definitely there is an opportunity for you to present so please you know do uh, take a look at it and see how soon you can submit a paper or a solution and all and uh, this is a great opportunity for all of you you know to be part of this open power summit event and it's going to be virtual and before concluding the you know my session you know i i welcome all of you to join as part of our you know the ecosystem and there is a link you know i have given please do join our you know academia group and engage uh, and learn about you know all these silicon to application concept to solutions kind of all kinds of you know the features and enhancement and you know industry ready systems a lot of stuff you know you can learn and also all these years whatever workshop i have been running webinar i have been running it's not that you know last 18 months i have been doing this is like 2015 time frame i started this ai virtual university and uh, through which i upload all kinds of activities into that and uh, please do take a look at it and you know subscribe to this channel and you will get to know what's happening around the world you know on open power and this is a great opportunity to learn more, learn about it and certainly you know engage in our community and you know i have executive director from open power foundation uh, james kulina and also the technical steering committee uh, chair tushan bhavani and marketing committee dina 
and academia it's me and social media jim uh, mignano so lots of outreach activities which i is flying from my side in the academia and also several others also uh, do you know provide many uh, you know engagements too so uh, you know do take a look at it and uh, and you know feel free to reach us out uh, you know if you have any any questions or anything and there's another announcement we do have the open power infrastructure available for you to remotely uh, do the performance test or any kind of open capy kind of you know the accelerator usage or gpu usage on power system um, you you can reach me out i can certainly give you access to the system uh, with this uh, i'm cl closing my talk any questions uh, thank you ganesan um yeah as uh, ganesan said uh, do we have any questions uh, before the next speaker i uh, just uh, pop the question in uh, the chat room. Um, I have one question. You mentioned um, for the, in the future uh, you're looking at uh, applying open power to storage. Um, what does that mean? So the storage related, you know, we are actually having this the open capy, right? That interface uh, will provide you know, some kind of uh, excellent, you know, the performance. Uh, I can I can send you that some details uh, offline on that to you. Okay, 